Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Where Podcatcher. Today I'm going to show you how to use the app to manage your podcasts. So let's open Where Podcatcher from our list of apps. There it is. And we can see a welcome screen with tips on getting the most from the app, which you can read at your leisure. But for now, I'll dismiss it. And we need to give a couple of permissions. So allow to record audio, allow to send notifications. And now we're at the home screen. To find and manage your podcast, you sort of move in a clockwise direction around the circumference. So it's pretty easy to navigate. We'll start with a search for podcasts. So to do this, we'll tap on this icon and we can speak the podcast name. I'll find one of my favorite podcasts. It's called Phone Show Chat, hosted by Steve Litchfield and Ted Salmon. Phone Show Chat. And there it is. If I tap on it, I'll subscribe. And let's go back. And let's just do one more. Uh, there's a BBC podcast called More or Less. Let's search for that. More or Less. And there's a few, we can see a few different podcasts that match that description. This is the one I want. So I have subscribed to that. And of course you can do as many searches and subscriptions as you want. If the speech to text makes a mistake, just use the keyboard to correct it or start again. So now continuing around the circumference, we can see our subscribe podcast by tapping this icon. And if I tap on any subscription, it'll show me a list of the latest episodes for that podcast. Let's look at Phone Show Chat. And if I tap on an episode, it will download it very quick. Download complete. and I'm back at the home screen. This is the new releases icon. If I tap on that, it will show me the latest release of all of the podcasts that I've subscribed to. So here we can see, obviously there'd normally be more than two, but latest episode of Phone Show Chat, latest episode of More or Less. And again, we can download from this screen and so again, very quick. And now I'm back at the home screen. So if I now go to downloads, I can see the two uh, podcast episodes that I've downloaded, Phone Show Chat, more or less. And the, the uh, downloads will be played in the order in which they appear on this list. So if I want to change the order, I can just long tap and it will be moved to the top. Long tap this one to the top of the list. And if I tap, then it starts playing. Welcome everyone to Phone Show Channel. And we can see the standard uh, controls here. There's volume up, volume down rewind, fast forward, uh, and this uh, settings icon, you can change the playback speed if you want. Um, the, uh, by default, the rewind uh, icon rewinds 10 seconds, fast forward uh, goes forward by 30 seconds, but you can change that in settings and I'll show you that in a little bit. So if I now return to the home screen, I can Start playing. 
uh, from that playback screen. Now, playback also responds to the controls on your Bluetooth earbuds. So if you uh, pause or play um, from your earbuds, the app will respect that, similarly turning the volume uh, up or down. Now, let's take a quick look at settings. Uh, rewind interval I spoke about, fast forward interval. Um, we can change the, uh, or we can close the playback service after a certain period of inactivity. So we could say five minutes, that saves a bit of battery. The, uh, this controls the number of uh, episodes to show in the subscribed and the recents view, uh, new releases view, uh, which we saw. We can also download new releases overnight. So the latest episode of each of our subscriptions uh, can be downloaded overnight if I turn that switch on. And because downloads can quickly build up, we might want to auto delete after a fixed period. So we can say seven days or 14 days or something like that, seven days. And if you're seeing too many toast messages um, while, the, uh, while the app is going through the various screens, you can turn some of them off there. And this icon just shows you the welcome screen. And it's worth looking at that because it gives you some tips to uh, get the best out of using the app. Also, uh, there is a tile that we can use again just to control the play fast forward or rewind and uh, the volume um, icons also put the volume up and down so i hope this quick tour of where podcatcher has been useful uh, you can find where podcatcher freepod downloader and all my other free apps at my freepod website and i've included links in the notes to this video that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.